and welcome back to another action-packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. And tonight, my brothers and sisters, it is Wednesday, right? And tomorrow is Thursday. You know what I mean? It's not. Don't, don't take a fucking brain surge at work. That ain't does it, right? But tomorrow, Thursday, I can't remember what date it is. Just one minute. Yes, tomorrow is Thursday, the 7th of Jan. I just had to look that up. I just knew it was Thursday tomorrow. Wednesday today, the 6th. Thursday tomorrow, the 7th. And do you know what tomorrow is? Unless you want, if you're watching this next week, it's fucking irrelevant, isn't it? But do you know what the 7th of January? It is our brother, Mark Smith's birthday. Now, he asked me to do a super cool review for his birthday, and that is what I'm doing. Mark Smith, he is 32 tomorrow. Tomorrow? You're 32. You, you're not. Th you're 32 tomorrow. You are. T you, he's telling porkies. You are telling porkies, mate. There's no way you're 32 tomorrow. You don't look a day over 50. Brothers and sisters, I give to you Chris the Butcher's Super Cool Review. We have Goodfellow's Classic Crust Takeaway Pizza, new flavour apparently, and it's Cheeseburger Pizza Inspired. Now, I can't remember Domino's or Pizza, I can't remember. They did a cheeseburger pizza and it was cracking. Now, I did my own cheeseburger pizza and it was fucking awesome. So, I'm going to try a Goodfellas classic crust takeaway cheeseburger burger pizza inspired pizza pizza. Cost me two quid for a thousand. I didn't take Lou with me, I just took myself up there. I do it regularly. It's difficult, but I fucking do it. A stone-baked pizza uh, based topped with tomato sauce, a three-cheese blend of mozzarella cheese, red cheddar cheese and cheddar cheese, seasoned minced beef, tomatoes, white onions and burger sauce drizzle. Yeah, so it's cheeseburger inspired, not actually saying it is a cheeseburger pizza. Cheeseburger pizza inspired. So it's inspired by a cheeseburger pizza, but it's actually a cheeseburger pizza. Oh, tasty burger style minced beef it's got on it triple cheese blend as it said burger sauce drizzle it says there's a big picture there up back that's it basically uh, yes my oven is, my fan is still fucked it was spinning a little bit but now it doesn't spin at all and now it's just a conventional oven that cooks about a million degrees at the back of the oven and about 10 degrees at the front. So what I'll have to do with this is, right, I'll have to just keep spinning it. But like a, like a gypsy at the waltz, just spin it, spin it. <laughs> uh, right, we got wheat, milk, milk, milk. Yeah. And that's it, basically. Heat oven, 200 degrees, which my oven is on 200 degrees. I know you can't see that, but you can see the light. The oven is on and it's red hot. It's just not fan assisted anymore. I will change that. I'm thinking about fucking it off actually and getting a new oven. Uh, just need another 50,000 subs or so and uh, I'll be good to go. Until then, I'll end up cooking on a fucking disposable barbecue in garden. It's snow. Right, anyway, I've been here long enough. Nearly three fucking minutes waffling shit. Uh, let's get it out down here. Let's get it out. I'm not throwing it. I like to throw it. But last, I'm not throwing this fucking pizza. It, 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 it's too expensive. So I'll gently place it down here and we'll take a look at it. Right, there it is. Oh, I treated it like that. Let's get out of this fucking box here. Eh? It's not the box that worries me. It's the fucking wrapper. Hmm. <laughs> it'll be alright. It'll be re. Chris, it'll be re. 
uh, it's not, it doesn't look the fucking best. It's still parsley frozen, so, but because my oven's played up, I'm gonna have to really fucking keep an eye on this. Can't get the fucking thing out, hang on. I've got off camera, I do apologize. Just to try and get this pizza out. There we are. It can't, it won't be that bad, will it? Surely to God. What's that? Oh, it looks like big little chopped up peppers. At least they're not fucking green. That's the main thing. And, where's my trusty pizza? In the oven, 200 degrees, with no fan, for about 15 minutes. But I'm gonna have to turn it every couple of minutes. Hey, up, stop that, I've gone fucking dizzy. And it is done. I've been stood here like a lemon, spinning it. Like, uh, what's he called? You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a cheeseburger inspired pizza. And there it is. Oh, I just accidentally punched the camera then. Yeah, there it is. Our cheeseburger pizza inspired pizza. So I'll cut it up. Get up here and slide it down my gizzard. There it is. Good fellas, cheeseburger pizza inspired pizza. Basically it's a cheeseburger pizza, isn't it? It's got a uh, minced beef, uh, burger style mince on the top. It's got drizzled with burger sauce. It's got three cheeses on it, on a pizza. It's good fellas, it cost me two quid. Down my gizzard. You know what? I have no complaints now. It's not as good as the cheeseburger pizza from Domino's or Pizza. I can't remember which one. I think it was. I think it was Pizza. Don't hold me to it. Can't remember. And it's nowhere near as good as the one I. They all made what I did. Well, they're too quick. I'm only having one slice. Lou's had one slice. The rest is for Connor and Keelan with chips. Which I need to cook in air fry instead of that's what you can eat. Mm. You know what? The only thing that made that better is a can of Stella. Oh my god. Cheers my brothers and sisters. This has turned out to be a fucking perfect, perfect night. So what can I say about that cheeseburger inspired pizza? Cheeseburger pizza inspired pizza by Goodfellas. Two quid. Bang it. Two quid. Tastes, fucking tastes great. Uh, the chips are still on it in air fry. You can't fault it. I'd get that again. Even if it were just, I'd eaten the full thing myself, it's still there. Uh, Connor and Kim are going to finish that off. We're, got, we're having something else to say as well. So I'm not going inside, you don't need to know, do you? Fucking need to know fucking basis. And the need to know is if you were eating it and you're fucking not. So you don't need to fucking know, do you? But yeah, I love that. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. 
I hope you become a family member of hashtag Team CTP. Where I fucking love you.